now has to have only one bare hour to live. The so bell must be down for Portugal. The star stands still. How do you teach 16th century texts to a mixed ability GCSE class? The drama department at Haggerston School, Inner London, has a very structured approach using skills and techniques built up from year seven onwards. In this programme, we'll see a new year 10 GCSE group tackle their first piece of coursework text with teacher and department head, Rachel Ray Chowdhury. Right. We're going to walk around the room, not looking at anyone, not making eye contact, all right, making sure you're exploring the space. Off we go. You think someone's following you. You're not sure, and you don't want to seem paranoid, but you definitely think they're after you. What are you going to do? They begin with a warm-up that's linked to the text they'll be working on this lesson. The last speech from Marlowe's Faust. They're right behind you. The idea of the warm-up was, you know, this idea of being followed, time running out, building tension, building a climax. Go for the front door! Open the door! Get in the door, slam it! Freeze! You're breathing really heavily, why? Because I was really scared. OK. Yeah. Now, what I'd like you to do is find a space facing me. Next, a focusing exercise gets them thinking about the theme of the text. But get yourself into a tight little ball, like you're a bit of wax. I want you to imagine that somebody comes to your house and knocks on your door, and you open it, and someone's standing there, it could be a man, it could be a woman, and they say, oh, I want to give you whatever you want. And you say, what, well, anything? And they say, yes. Often, we start them off as a ball of wax, and it's just basically a neutral position, and it allows them to think and have time, but also think about their physicality and sort of grow and stretch and just sort of, yeah, use their bodies as well as their words. And what I'm going to ask you to do now, I would like you to grow and get yourself into a shape that represents what it is you will ask for. Really get yourself into a position. Don't look around. Six, five, four. Really stretch out that position. Three, make it exaggerated, make it big. Two, one, and freeze. In a GCSE drama lesson, you know, you need to give the student a variety of activities and they have to be able to work in different ways. So it's not just about group work and it's not just about, or small group work. Often they need to do things on their own as individuals. All right, and relax. There is a catch, obviously. <laughs> but it's not money. They don't want money. What do you think they might want from you? What is valuable that you have that isn't money? that they might want from you. You have to sell your soul. <gasps> <laughs> How did you know? Because people are like that. Hang on, hang on. Sarah, what were you going to say? Because there's like five different films about that. Some girl, yeah, she's really geeky. So <laughs> she said you could be popular anything, but you have to sell your soul to the devil. There's another film which is like that, and a man like, like, likes his girl, and, and the devil says you can have ten wishes. Okay, it's that called? Bedazzled. <laughs> Oh, on The Simpsons. On The Simpsons, what happens? Bart sold his soul and all the other kids were playing with their souls but he didn't have these to play with. He sold it to his friends. <laughs> what for? For uh, um, army men. Um, yeah. yeah, some toys. Toys, OK. I'm going to put you in groups really quickly and I want you to show me what your soul is. It can have movement and sound on, and words but no sentences, all right? So you three quickly work together. Emma, you come here, you three work together. Yeah, sound effects in my foot. Yeah. Okay. A short group task gets the girls working together collaboratively. Okay, five. Okay, sit down, we're gonna quickly see them. It's who I am. It's what I am. It's our heart. It's who I am. It's what I am. It's our heart. It's part of you. It's mine. You only get one. It's mine. But it's part of you. It's mine. You only get one. It's mine. I'm here. Where? Here. Where? I think a round of applause for all of you. Well 
They've played with the ideas and now it's time to face the text itself. At first sight, it's pretty challenging. The Tragical History of Dr Faust by Christopher Marlowe. The easiest thing to do is to give them something that is similar to them and, you know, often maybe modern and written, maybe about teenagers, maybe, you know, their own experience. But then what you find is the drama that comes out of that is very often soap, opera style, and it doesn't stretch them. Whereas, I mean, Faust is fantastic. I mean, it's such a dramatic piece, that last hour, you know, you've got the tension, you've got climax, but all, it's quite gory, it's devils, you know, um, boys and girls, they love it. All right, Paloma, I'm going to ask you a question. When you saw that piece of text, what did you think? I thought, I don't know really what this means. Yeah, you don't know what it means. Who else agrees with Paloma? All right. <laughs> OK. Um, what was it about the text that you started to think, oh, I... I uh... It's sort of in old English. It's not in modern English, so some of the words, I don't really know what means. Right. You said it's in Old English. What, what does it look like to you? Is there any, does it look like anything that you've read before or studied? Yes. Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Does anybody want to have a go at reading it out for me? <coughs> OK, should we divide it then? If so, I'm impressed. Put your hands up if you want to have a go. <coughs> now, don't worry if you get it wrong. We're just going to have a go. Ooh, Faust, now haste thou but one bear how to live, and then thou must be damned perpetually. Stand still, you ever-moving spares of heaven, that time may cease and midnight never come. Fair nature's eye, rise, rise again, and make perpetual day, or let this hour be but a year, a month, a week, a natural day, that fast may repent and save his soul. Adders and serpents, let me breathe a while. Ugly hell, gape not. Come not, Lucifer, I'll burn my books. Ah, Mr. Folophysis. Mephistopheles. It's a hard one, isn't it? Say it. Mephistopheles. Mephistopheles. <laughs> now, in threes, I'm going to ask you to look just for one image in here, and I want to see a frozen picture of it. Just one image. So I'm just going to do one, two, three. Quickly. Okay. Um, the actual devil's coming to get him because, I mean, there's that taking him away. Yeah, yeah, they're actually taking him off. Because you can't do a picture of little water droppings, it wouldn't work. What are you going to do? Time may cease. Right, OK. Ten seconds. One girl might be a really good ideas person and another person a really strong performer. But every time it's different frozen pictures, different things come up. And so if I find the lesson is going one way, then I will allow it to go that way if that's the way the girls are taking it. And freeze! Let me see your facial expressions. Let's dial the facial expressions up. Good work. Sit down. All right, now what we're going to do is this. I'm going to ask you to use the words that Marlowe uses and I want you to show me his last hour using the text. Off you go. The groundwork they've done on theme and imagery seems to pay off as they start working with the original text. Are we just picking out certain sentences in life? Yes. Yes. Let's talk about yeah, representing the same thing. Like someone being the sun. But every time he talks about something, someone can represent what he's talking about. One of us can be the clock, but slow motion. Yeah. So up until the clock strikes and it's like two. For the last bit, the adders and serpents, <laughs> no, one person standing like... there. One person's all there and then they slow to everyone else is on that one person which would be her. Right. I'm the clock, I don't need to do anything. <laughs> so what 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 are you saying? First one. So basically and what she's... sentence am I saying? <laughs> When they're devising, what you're meant to do is go around and sit and listen and help or advise. But I do find that you can get in the way. You can stop the development process because they're so concerned about what they think you want to hear or they're so bothered about how they're perceived in the group. And so we do short tasks where, you know, sort of I'm, I'm the centre of the lesson, if you like, and then I, and I direct it, and then it's over to them to then do that development. Ugly hell, gave not! Not this I'll burn my book! <laughs> that was good. OK, five, five. I know you haven't had a long time, but 
don't worry because next week we're going to make we're going to use this as a starting point and develop the work so what I want to do now is I want to do a run through and then we'll talk keep it short and make sure you have an ending don't panic all right talk oh, Take fast. Talk. now has thou but one bare hour to live mm -hmm. talk. Tick, tuck. Oh, it's strikes, it's strikes! And we held gate not! Come not, Lucifer! I'll burn my books! Oh, I'm gonna stop! Right, hands up, come on, come on, straight away, yes. I like the way that Melissa, the clock didn't just tick, it actually said about the bearing one hour to live. It didn't just tick like the other clocks that were in the other pieces. Okay, Jessica. Where Maria was so panicked, you sort of started to believe it yourself because you were so realistic. You were starting to get a bit panicky myself, so it was really effective the way because, like, she really it was believable. Okay, good. Enough. I like the way there was like the devil behind the clock when it was ticking. It was just coming in and out. Okay, and finally, let's see this. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, tick. Oh. Now hast thou only one bare tick. hour to live? And then thou must be damned perpetually. Tick. Stars stand still. Tick. Tick. Cursed be the Tick. parents that engendered Tick. you. Tick. 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 Oh. Oh. oh, it strikes! It strikes! Tick. Toast. Tick. Tick. Thank you. Okay, well done. Right, Emma. I really like the way and they were all one devil. Okay. Just that one creature coming for her. All right. Yes. And it was different as well. I mean, I, I haven't. I don't think I've ever seen it like that. And they all really connected into each other. Quite a strong position of the clock, wasn't it? What did that do to the piece with that tick tock all the way through it? Did it irritate you, or was it? Did it? Yes. It just takes time. So that it's really slow. All right then, thank you very much. How hard was it to remember those words? Oh. Oh, all right, but you did it, good. All right then. I still say that, I look at the performance work and I think, how clever. You know, that's a, and, and then working together, seeing girls that you wouldn't, some of them wouldn't say boo to a goose, some of them are maybe quite overbearing, but they come together to find a way of working and create something. I think that's exciting. Now I've written on the board again about the, the last bit of notes we're going to take. So the intro to the text, I would like you to just write about how you felt when you first read that text. Finally, the pupils document and evaluate the lesson for themselves. They make notes just after we've done something. I and mean, I often write on the board the, the lesson plan and then the more able will write themselves anyway. It does sometimes slow up the drama process but it's quite reflective as well, so it allows them to think about what they've done. And after, if they've just written about what they've done, it often means they're focused then for the next stage. You're right, and helps so, when you're performing as well, because you can always look back on past things that you've done and use it in your next performing. Yeah, and by writing everything down, we don't just remember what we've done, we remember how we felt about what we've done, so we remember, like, yeah, it affects it a lot, and it helps. Weeks. For at least 10 years I've been looking at Faust in different forms, you know, sometimes the play itself, sometimes as the extract within a bigger scheme of heaven and hell. But, um, you know, don't throw things away if they work. And to every group of new people, new young people, it's, it's a revelation to them. <laughs>